Let's continue the best vendor certifications of 2024. Cisco versus Amazon Web Services or AWS. We are now moving to the professional slash mid or specialist level. For those who haven't watched the entry and associate level, please watch this video. So first, Cisco Certified Network Professional in Data Center or CCNP Data Center. It requires two exam, the core exam and one concentration. I will be specific to DCACI concentration exam because this is Cisco ACI and this is the SDN solution of Cisco. And the course slash exam also focus heavily in virtualization technologies. CCNP data center core also focus on other technologies such as compute slash servers, storage and automation, not just networking. The cost of core exam is 400 US dollars and for the concentration exam, it's 300 USD. So the total would be 700 US dollars. Is it too much? Well, you're not getting only one certification. You have a total of three certs, CCNP data center and two concentrations, Cisco certified specialist data center core and Cisco certified specialist data center ACI implementation. You will also have a shot with CCIE data center lab exam. Next, we have AWS certified solutions architect professional. The exam is scenario based questions that require candidates to analyze and solve complex problems related to architecting solutions on AWS. It includes compute services such as EC2 and auto scaling, storage services such as S3, EBS, EFS. We also have networking. This includes VPC, CloudFront, ELB, Transit Gateway, and many others. The cost of this single exam is 300 USD, but with 50% discount, it would only cost a total of 150 US dollars. Both certifications focus on the three pillars of data center and cloud, which is networking, storage, and compute. So which one is better? Mm -hmm. I will go for AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional. It has more value and rated as one of the, if the most valuable cloud certification. Next, CCNP or Cisco Certified Network Professional Enterprise. Like any CCNP, it requires two exam, the core exam and one concentration. So CCNP Enterprise Core is all networking, routing and switching, wireless, etc. What I require is the specific concentration exam. This is called ENCC or Enterprise Networking Cloud Connect. This exam matches its counterpart, which we're going to talk about in a bit. So the ENCC is special because it talks about both secure IPsec and secure SD-WAN connectivity to cloud service provider. Cloud service provider, these are AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. So it connects to this three cloud service providers, cloud endpoint, and cloud hosted Cisco routers. The cost of the core exam is 400 US dollars. And for the concentration, it's 300 USD. And you will get three certifications and a shot with CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Lab Exam. Now for AWS, we have AWS Certified Advanced Networking Specialty. It's intended for individuals who performs complex networking tasks and it covers most common network technologies such as routing protocols, MPLS, VPLS, subnetting, IP version 6. It also includes cloud connectivity such as AWS Direct Connect and AWS VPN. It doesn't stop there. It also includes cloud security, such as AWS WAF, IDS slash IPS, DDoS protection, and many others. The cost of this single exam is 300 USD, but with 50% discount, it would only cost just 150 US dollars. So which one is better? <laughs> this is tough, but I would choose CCNP Enterprise because you will learn advanced routing and also hybrid cloud in not just one cloud service provider. You will learn hybrid cloud 
on all three major players, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. Next, Cisco Certified Network Professional or CCNP Security. Like any CCNP, it requires two exam, the core exam and one concentration. So the CCNP Security Core exam, they talk about at least seven security solutions. These are Firepower, which is the next generation firewall solution of Cisco. What else? They also talk about VPN. Uh, they also talk about ASA or Cisco ASA, which is the network firewall solution of Cisco. What else? Email security, DNS security, web proxy, Cisco Eyes is the IAM and NAC solution of Cisco, and many others. For the concentration, I will go for securing networks with Cisco Firepower SNCF exam because it focuses on Firepower technologies. And this includes advanced next generation firewall, IDS and IPS, malware protection, advanced VPN, and many others. The cost of the core exam is 400 US dollars and for the concentration exam is 300 USD and you will get three certifications and a shot with CCIE security lab exam. Now for the AWS certification, we have AWS certified security specialty. This certification covers various AWS security services. And we're talking about here over 20 AWS security services. These are threat detection and IR or incident response. Um, these are services like guard duty, inspector, detective, etc. We also have security monitoring. These are services like CloudWatch, Security Hub, VPC flow logs, etc. What else? Infrastructure security. These services like AWS WAF, AWS ELB, Shield, Network Firewall, and many others. What else? They also cover IAM and data protection. The cost of this single exam is 300 USD, but with 50% discount, it would only cost 150 US dollars. So, which one is better? I would go for Cisco Certified Network Professional or CCNP Security. And why? Because the cybersecure solution topics are more in depth and more detailed. Last pair, we have Cisco Certified DevNet Professional. Like CCNP, it requires to exam. I would specifically choose DevNet Core and DevOps exams. It covers deployment automation that enables automated configuration, automated management, and automated scalability of cloud microservice and infrastructure process on various Cisco platforms. The problem here is you are automating and DevOpsing only Cisco platforms. The cost of the core exam is 400 US dollars and for the concentration exam is 300 USD and you will get three certifications and a shot with Cisco certified DevNet expert. Next, we have AWS certified DevOps engineer professional. It's intended with technical expertise of individuals in provisioning, operating and managing AWS environment. This includes SDLC or software development lifecycle automation and configuration management. What else? IAC. IAC stands for infrastructure as a code. What else? Resilient cloud solutions, monitoring logging, incident and event response, and security and compliance. The cost of this single exam is 300 USD. But with 50% discount, it would only cost 150 US dollars. So, which one is better? No doubt, it's AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional. What are the chances that you will do DevOps with only Cisco platforms? You know, DevOps is more implemented in the cloud. So, what do you think of my certification contenders on both Cisco and AWS? Do you agree with my verdict? Which certifications would you choose? Which ones comes out on top? Comment below if you have any questions. And don't forget to hit the like button.